Fallout 4 hasn't even been released yet, and some people are already pegging it as the frontrunner to win Game of the Year for 2015. In this video, we take a look at 5 reasons why Fallout 4 has as good of a chance as any to win gaming's highest honor for the year. Number 5 is that Bethesda has actually done a great job of keeping the gamers in the dark of what Fallout 4 is actually going to offer in terms of its gameplay and world. A lot of times these days with new game releases, we see hours upon hours of gameplay before a game even releases. Sometimes people will just watch so much gameplay of a game and they decide that game's not for them, they've already seen all of the game, and whether or not that's true is up for you to decide, but there's no doubting that Bethesda has done a great job of marketing this game, but at the same time not letting anyone know what's really in this game. That adds a level of unknown, even with the big biggest titles this year, like The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, like Metal Gear Solid 5, we saw hours upon hours of gameplay of those games before they released. With Fallout 4, we really have one gameplay demo to go off of, and everything else is a complete unknown to the gamer. And that's when people really enjoy the game the most, when they don't know what's gonna happen, or they don't know what to expect. And with Fallout 4, the majority of gamers, while are very excited for it, don't really know what's gonna be in this game. Number 4, the sheer amount of content that Fallout 4 will have. While we don't know what Fallout 4 will have, we will know that it will have a lot of content. Rumors are saying that if you want to do everything in the game, it's going to take north of 400 hours. And these days with so many games being released and people just not wanting to drop $60 on every game, that's only an eight hour experience. And then you're done with it. Fallout 4 is going to be a very appealing game to those people that only buy a few games a year and they try to get the most out of their purchases. And obviously Bethesda will be packing a lot of content into Fallout 4, but don't forget that on PC and Xbox One, Fallout 4 will also have mod support. So that adds an endless stream of infinite content. Content. The only thing that we hope for is that Bethesda also has quality in mind, and with the team of developers that Bethesda has amassed, we can rest assured that that's probably the case. Number three is the sheer amount of hype that Fallout 4 has. Look, a game can be as good as it wants to be, but if not enough people play it, not a lot of people are going to appreciate that game. Even with Fallout 4 being kept in the dark, Bethesda has done an absolute masterful job of marketing the game. They used the most out of the minutes that they received while keeping the gamers in the dark, but absolutely making gamers salivate and want to play the game. That's a pretty hard thing to do because with the limited amount of screen time that Fallout 4 has had, a lot of people are still very excited for this game and that's because we know about Bethesda's track record and with the screen time that Fallout 4 did get, Bethesda made the absolute most out of it and showed the gamers what they wanted to see. Instead of promoting future DLC or things that the gamer doesn't really care about, Bethesda decided to show everything that the gamer wants to know while still leaving a bit of mystery surrounding the game. And hype is a factor when it comes to deciding game of the year because you can be sure that the entire gaming world is going to be playing Fallout 4, and the more people that actually play the game, the faster the word spreads, the more people know about the game, and the more people that are going to consider the game their game of the year. Number two is that Bethesda actually understands that their previous titles have had problems to them. While some developers are very cocky and like to think that every game they make is very, very good, and don't get me wrong, the Bethesda open world games are very, very good, but Bethesda understands that their games aren't perfect and there's a lot of room for improvement. With that, Bethesda is actually trying to make Fallout 4 have a better story. The story in all these Bethesda the open world games like Fallout 3, Skyrim has never been something to write home about. They've been there, but nothing amazing compared to games like The Last of Us or The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Well, this time around, Bethesda is actually going to try to deliver on the story front as well. Also, Fallout 3 has never had the best shooting mechanics, and what Bethesda wants to do is make Fallout 4 shooting mechanics and gameplay up to par with games that are strictly linear shooters and with games where developers can actually put all their resources into fine-tuning the gameplay mechanics. Bethesda wants to do it all, and while that is a lofty goal, you have to praise Bethesda for having the balls to actually do something like that. And finally, number one, which is something that a lot of people might forget about, is just the low competition that Fallout 4 has. A lot of games that were originally set to release in 2015 got delayed into 2016. A game like Uncharted 4 would have been a front runner for Game of the Year, but obviously that's now coming out in March of 2016 instead of 2015. And while there were very good games in 2015, the only game that really stands head and shoulders above the other games are The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and Metal Gear Solid 5. And Metal Gear Solid 5 just has so much controversy surrounding it with Konami mistreating its workers, Hideo Kojima leaving Konami, that honestly not many people are going to consider that game their game of the year just because of all the controversy. So at this point, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is Fallout 4's biggest competition. A lot of people played The Witcher 3, a lot of people really enjoyed The Witcher 3, and whether or not you did is kind of irrelevant because the majority of people did, and at the end of the day, the majority get to decide what is the game of the year. Well, Fallout 4 is a similar type of game to The Witcher 3. It's got this open world environment, 
environment, and it's a game that a lot of people are hyped for, just like they were hyped for The Witcher 3. But outside of those two games, there's really not a lot of other games to consider your game of the year that have released in 2015 so far. Games like Mad Max and Dying Light, while they were good, just weren't exceptional. And we can all believe that Fallout 4 will most likely be an exceptional game, and you can say that before the game even releases because it's one of these Bethesda open world games and they always are exceptional. So that is gonna wrap up this video. Do you agree with our top five reasons why Fallout 4 has as good of a chance as any to be game of the year and might be game of the year? We can't say anything for sure. The game hasn't been released yet. We still got 10 days left, but let us know what you guys think in the comments section down below and leave us your requests for future videos in the comments as well. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.